we'll be reading the New Testament as rendered by the uh, Gullah people of uh, South Carolina, my, my lineage, uh, at least on my maternal side. And this will be a uh, an interpretation of the uh, Old Testament as uh, torn up by uh, King James and the boys. You know, uh, you know, see, like right here, you get the the Shakespeare Marlowe kind of you know writing, and then the Gullah is in a bigger type right there, translations right there. And uh, in fact, uh, let's just go. Any place as we just choose any place as we usually do. We go to, uh, it is Galatians uh, 5. And there's who? If, 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 Pharisees? Pharisees. Ah, let's go to Pharisees uh, 19. Why not? <coughs> We're on page uh, 665. I hope I pronounce it well. It doesn't matter if I pronounce it right. That's the whole idea. The, the idea is that um, when my uh, ancestors, uh, my lineage was uh, was freed, I mean, really freed people, um, they learned uh, to read and write rather quickly. And they did it from the King James Version of the Bible. And so I I um, get this thing in my head, you know, this, as they say in academia, this notion <laughs> that if I started reading the, the Gullah Bible, then I would somehow be attached to my own lineage. So that's what we do here. Um, so again, we're on page 665, Ephesians uh, 4. Uh, this would be 19. They ain't got no shame about nothing no more. They make up their mind for walk all the time in the evil way. <clears throat> They live loose life, and they the one for do all kind of evil thing more and more. <clears throat> and the uh, translation, excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. <clears> Just <throat> like I'm down in South Carolina, I got a little frog <coughs> in my throat. Okay, here we go, 19, Ephesians 4, 19. Who being... Oh boy, uh, um, I don't get my glass. I, I go back. I go to Virginia tomorrow, and I, I can when I do this on Monday, I'll be able to read a little better because my glass, my reading glasses are down there. Okay, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness, lasciviousness, sorry, to work all uncleanliness and greediness. Oh, that's heavy. Uh, okay, one more time. They ain't got no shame about nothing no more. They make up their mind for work all the time in the evil way. They live loose life and they the way for do all kind of evil thing more and more. The translation in the uh, Old English. Who being past feelings have given themselves over unto lasciviousness, lasciviousness, sorry, to work all uncleanness and greediness. And there you go. Oh, and this is a Saturday, so I usually uh, explain a, a little bit more detail what, what I'm doing, but I already explained to you that um, I'm trying to... Um, Get a sense of my uh, at least my maternal my maternal side, which uh, my great grandfather was uh, uh, Gullah Geechee, and, and he was married to a Mohawk a woman, a fully Mohawk woman. And this is my my set that you well, we I said we read from the uh, the Gullah um, New Testament Bible. We got to get a new one because the thing wore wore off over there. I gotta uh, get another one. Uh, I'm looking right now. Maybe I just order it. I don't want to order it. No, I ordered it from them. That's right. I didn't even use the regular. I ordered it from them. Uh, you can order it from uh, 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 in the, uh, Sea Island Creole and Marginal Text of the. Um, it's put out by the Sea Island Translation Team in cooperation with somebody. Bible Translation 
Hey, I got it directly from them. I didn't go to, uh, I guess the American Bible Society also has it. Anyway, I, 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 I got it from them. They delivered it in Virginia last year, or the year before, whatever it is. But I want to say, I uh, have my my uh, surname, uh, which is Sloan. Sloan translates, but Sloan actually translates the Anglo root meaning of Sloan is is a is a is warrior, you know. So you have a group called Sloan Warriors, don't worry about that. Um, and uh, so that's there, and then you see the the um, what's that? David Hammond's flag, uh, red, black, and green with the black um, stars like that. I sort of like that flag. I know Pan Africanists get all upset. I, well, maybe they don't. I don't know what they do, uh, but you know, cause red, black, and green is the uh, is the uh, you know the Pan African colors uh, as um, as first. Uh, well, the progenitor was uh, Marcus Garvey. Oh yeah, he just his, his birthday was just last month. Last last month. Um, speak about uh, red, black, and green. Uh, the the ecumenical cap I wear. I call it ecumenical. So, yeah. This is kente cloth from, uh, I think I guess from Ghana because they're the ones that have it, but it's a different kind of color. There's all kinds of kente cloth, so I use these, I use this one because I've had this for a very long time. I had another one, I gotta find it, uh, that I, that's more subdued, that's more for uh, like when you're wearing a, a suit with you know, darker colors, what the matter. Uh, but the hat is um, in, in the West African culture, I'm talking about West Africa, this is uh, from the Akan people. Uh, this is what's called a, oh, they called it. Uh, my pronunciation is, uh, 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 Nye Sapo, y'all can't say it, Nye Sapo, it's a, it's a translation is wisdom knot, so this is my symbol, in my, I'm an OG, they say OG, I got another one, I'm an AG, right, like OG is like old guard, right, well, I'm an AG, that's ancient guard, right, anyway, so the, uh, Nagar, like G-U-A-R-D. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, that's my interpretation. But this is a wisdom knot. So I use that as my, my symbol in, in my state as an ancient uh, guard. Uh, guarding the, you know, guarding the knowledge. Well, not guarding. I, get, I, I, I try to impart the knowledge. Pe you know, people do not listen to the fool on the hill. And so, you know, I'm the hill, I'm the fool on the hill. Near them, you know, so... A lot of times you don't listen to, I'm talking about the elders, not the oldest, because there's a lot of old fools out there. You know, I'm not going to, let me not disparage my generations be, uh, a little bit under me and certainly older than me. I'm not going to leave it. I'm in my seventh decade, by the way. Anyway, but in the West African tradition, um, in the Yoruba culture, which I have an affinity towards, uh, I know a lot about it. Um, they, um, uh, it, uh, it, comes from Nigeria and that, that area of, of Africa. And um, and I'm a child of Ogun. Ogun, uh, their colors is, I think it's, it's blue. And then when it went to Brazil, in Candomblé, it became uh, blue and white, I believe. Anyway, but when it came up to, to North America through the Cuban strain, uh, the colors for some reason changed to uh, a green, this is this thing, black, which is the, see that's the black side in there, and a little bit of red, right? So, uh, so this is basically my Ogun cap. People don't know that; they just think it's com communism, right? But it's it's my Ogun cap. You know, when I'm in when I'm in battle mode, you know, I have a, I have a this is the one I use for this, but I have a, a another one. You know, I probably might, I mean, well, I have another one um, that I use for my, you know, when I'm really like in in battle mode. So that's oh yeah. Plus on the set, I always have close at hand. On my right side, my uh, my grand nephew. You see, you see, look at that. You see how he had he he put his fists up himself. I nobody told him to do that. He just he just did that. So he took the picture and it stays with me. Oh, on the other side is my uh, it's the uh, we gotta save black people. You know, if you notice this, but well, I'm not gonna. Do. We I should tell you. See, there's a um, this is came from a a, a hip hop group. I used to be um, well. Cut to a chase. I used to be the music director of this um, community radio station, big time community radio station in New York, and they always send stuff. You know, the, the, especially new groups, they send stuff. So they sent the, the hip hop group sent me this, and but this is a gun like that. But I took the, I took this picture in Mexico, and it was about the time of um, uh, the Haitians were being you know detained or locked up, whatever you want to call it, uh, fenced in, and so I was in Mexico. 
and I took this picture and I knew how it was going to come up. Little did I know that thing was going to... See, basically, we're saying we've got to free black people, but not by gun. Well, people, you all want to do a gun, you can. But but for me, you've got to use something else. So so that's, uh, that's the set. But the set's going to change. On Monday, I'll be someplace else. So the elements will probably be the same. Might be more elements. I don't know. Um, but uh, I always travel with the elements, and that's what it is. So that's the explanation of the color readings that I do um, each day, except for Sunday. Sundays, we deal with Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s uh, book, uh, the code book, uh, the compensatory concept uh, book. And, uh, well, that's what we deal with on Sundays. So six days a week with this. And on Saturdays, I explain everything. Well, I explain the set, at least. And uh, we'll be off to Virginia. So the next time you hear from me will be a new configuration in Virginia, uh, me being T from the Pattersons, taking the transit to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>